clarifications i saw a video online that says okay if you uh, if you go to a pos machine and uh, the person the pos person type one four 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 on the pos after you withdraw uh, your bvn is going to be reviewed or your personal details is going to be reviewed so in this video i'm going to uh, we are going to check whether this is true or not so we are going to try the person actually used money points pos to make his uh, uh, arguments and in this video we are going to check it together whether the details your information are actually stored on the pos terminal as a customer so the first thing let's try so the person said if you withdraw so to withdraw on this particular pos you can see this is money point this is how pos people normally withdraw for you if you want to withdraw in case you don't know once they open the money point app they just come to withdraw right here then they put the amount let's say you want to withdraw 1000 naira. then they click on next so the pos will ask them for maybe your account is savings uh current or default but the atm i'm going to use is one of my cards so which is savings so you, the POS will say a waiting card. So I'm going to insert the card. So let me insert the card without really revealing any information. Okay, let's insert the card. So let's insert the card. So I've inserted the card now. So you can see. So you can see I'm actually trying to also protect my details. Now you once you put the, the your pin. So okay, let me put my pin before I even press enter. Okay. That, that was for security reasons so i've put my pin now you can see once once i click on enter now the pos is saying sending request you can see it's approved so the transaction is approved let's say i'm a customer the, the agent has actually printed my copy he has actually given me my atm card back now i'm leaving the pos person's place so i'm leaving now this is everything the pos person will see on his pos let's dismiss this so we've done the trash and you can see on the receipt everything is approved so everything is approved you can see that okay now let's go through the pos machine itself let's see if there's any information any of my okay let's he said you press one four 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 that's one four 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 you can see that now let's check the pos machine whether my information is actually stored on this particular pos now if you go to withdraw again which was what we did you can see how much you want to withdraw is still asking us for the same process if we type 1000 so it's going to ask for atm card which means if i did not have an atm card this pos is not going to give me any money it's not going to debit anybody's account it will continue rolling to eternity okay that's not a way that means they can't withdraw money using this function if they use transfer is the pos person can only transfer from the account balance from the balance he has in his account you can see there's none of your information on this pos it's basically asking for the account you want to transfer to and if you click if you select transfer on this particular pos i think the balance there is just one thousand naira. okay let's do that so that we'll all be sure so let's check the balance on this pos on the pos itself so i think we'll see it under check balance we'll see okay this one is not this one is for okay we'll see accounts account balance then let me put the pin for the pos so let's see how much is left on the pos machine you can see we only have 1075 naira now what we try to do is to transfer more than this so that maybe some people might think okay when you use the atm the pos is on the pos the pos is linked to your account so this way now we know that there's 1075 naira on this particular pos let's try to do transfer of 10000 probably maybe when the customer uses atm the atm has already connected to the pos so that i can transfer any amount from the customer's account let's try that we only have 1075 naira so let's see let's go to transfer okay let's use one account okay Is there, okay amount sorry it's amount let's okay we are trying 10,000 because but the amount on this pos is just 1000 let's see if, if it will allow us recipient account number okay let's put that let's click the bank so let's click the bank okay so it's bring the name you see everything you can leave all those so let's see so if you ask for pin if you ask for pin so let me put the pin so once you 
once we put the pin, you, you know, we are trying to transfer 10,000 Naira, this particular 10,000, we're trying to transfer it. So let's click on enter. Remember, the amount on this POS is just 1,000. You can see it wrote insufficient funds. That means nobody can transfer your money using that method. Okay, let's go to another means. So this, are, this is transfer option. This is card transfer option. That one is for something else. That one is for if you want to transfer from your ATM card to another person. Even though you click on that. Okay, let's see. For the uh, for those who will still be doubting. So let's put the account number. Okay. Let's put select the account. So let's put the amount. So let's see if, if they can still use your card to transfer. Let's click on 10,000 too. Okay. So let's scroll down. Let's click on continue. So it will, it will still ask for the POS. Okay, let's put the, this business pin means the pin of the POS uh, agents. Okay, let's put the pin. So we've seen that we've seen two ways, two possible ways, but none of them is possible for them to transfer your money out. Okay, let's click on enter. It will still ask you that you should select the account type for the ATM card you want to use. Okay, let's say my ATM card, the one we used the other time, is a savings account. You see, it will still ask you for ATM card, which means if the agent did not, if the POS agent did not have your card, they can't withdraw your money. This is how it will continue rolling till eternity. Okay, let's see the other part. Let's see the other part. Okay, this one is just for transferring sake. So let's go to more. Let's go to more. So you can see transfer the same options, airtime. So if you want to buy airtime as well, it's still the same thing card transfer pos transfer pay bills so all those ones have similar function as the other ones so even though you want to check balance so you can check balance for let's say my eight now it will still ask you for the atm card which means if the person did not have your atm card they can't see your details okay let's go to another place collections those ones are just for uh go tv and other stuff those ones are not actually now let's go to this is the most interesting part let's go to history now let's check local history now this is the 10,000 we try okay let's do this 1,000 error the customer came to withdraw that is the 1,000 error I test with my card click on that okay let's click on this let's see if they can actually see our BVN this is all the details the agents can see about you everything the agents that is the POS agents can see about your transaction remember we died we typed the 1444, four, four, the guy said. Nothing, we've seen nothing so far. Now, this is the 1000 we withdraw. Now, check. Let's see if our BVN is actually on this information. Now, this is, you see, transaction is approved. You can see the date. You see the time. Customers. You can see this number. This number, we call it card pan. And this is always on every ATM uh, withdrawal you do. Whether you use ATM machine or you use a POS machine, you will always see this card pan which is the first six digits of your ATM card and the last four digits. Nobody can do anything with this. Uh, uh, this is a standard everywhere around the world. So even though you go outside the country, you do any transaction online, most of the time they will show you this, which means nobody can do anything except they know the full numbers. Now let's see that. Now card expiring date, this is the expiring date. AID, it doesn't resemble BVN. Most BVN start with two zero something. So stand, stand is just a number. Let's say uh, stand usually is just like a serial number. I've done two transactions on this POS. So this is the second one. That's you see 002. So RRN is also similar to stand. So receipt number two. So you can see it's still similar to RRN. So synchronized, true. So this is everything the person can see as regards your details, as regards the transaction you did. Remember, we, we die 1444, four, four, nothing show. Let's click on print receipt. Okay, print receipt. It will ask for the agent's pin. Let's put the agent's pin and see if our pin will come on the receipt. If our pin, okay, let's print. It's printing now. You can see. Let's check this receipt whether our BVN is on this. So let's check receipt number is still 002. Terminal ID that one is unique for every POS. You can see time, MasterCard, customer. You can see this is still the RR, the, the sorry, the PAN, which is the first six digits of your ATM and the last four digits. Even though you go to any ATM machine, it will still print this. And most people usually throw this kind of receipt away. So this one, nobody can touch your money using this, uh, using any of this information. 
let's check these two this one doesn't look like bvn so it doesn't look like at least it doesn't look like my own bvn but this is not BVN, my number look so you see up so this is everything the person can see on the receipt that way that means they can't do anything with your details let's check other places on the pos so that people will not say okay so that's history if you go to admin let's put the business pin again so let's let's put the business you can see the only option the agent can see under admin is synchronize action synchronize transaction means maybe do some agent do some transaction on the pos it did not uh, reflect due to network this way we do it so that they will credit him so agent pos agent face a lot of issues so you <laughs> so not that they, they are you go to services you can services say for you if you want to print last receipts like the ones we did so it will automatically let them so He has been since morning. that's where it goes to end of day if you want to print summary if you want to print detailed you can print okay so let's then of day and anything shows the which function it's called the lot of fun so this is all the you do for the whole day you can see this is, this is the first one you did you can see there's again be checking if you see any bv comment below the same information you see on the receipt that's still the same one i'm seeing so deposit this is the deposit we try to do that did not go through where i put my own details so let's go let's go down go down go down <laughs> They will only show the ten thousand That was the one we were trying to transfer out of our account. So, from all this, we see that there's no way the agent can even see your BVN. Okay, that is not good enough. Let's go back again. So everything okay? Let's go back out of the this app. Get you if you Check date all in silence. Those are just to create the app on the PO. Android phone. You can see most of the options here, they are the ones you see on your Android phone. If you go to storage, storage is just like memory space, just like this the way you see it on your video. So could even check all those things. Uh, normally, a POS agent is not even supposed to come here if he doesn't, unless he wants to stop his POS from working. So you can see audio, nothing there. No, that means doesn't load your BVN. It doesn't say white. So catch data. Yes, yeah. this week. No, don't, I don't play the card. I don't know what that we call. Most of the click catch it on a home so information about sensitive service. So you see, this one. So this one for one of for for agents. It's just like Android phone. You can go to your Android phone and see all this all the information there. More if you go to more VPN, all those ones are just normal thing you see on Android phone. That's under so you see that so from all this you can see everything if we see the most of the people get confused about what 
people can do with BVN. A scammer can use your BVN to withdraw your money. Just open your BVN. A scammer cannot use just your BVN. Most of the time, using your ATM like why you use your ATM on his own POS so and the part is there's no way someone can just your VN alone to withdraw your money so that's the thing I'm trying to make you if you have experience whereby someone is in the comments below you have faced this issue like In the description box, so just chat me if you know how to do this. Be sure of yourself. I learn to do it. Very sure, don't want sure because the people that are building this system, they are the most credible companies I've ever known, and uh, they build security because all these things are actually backed up by CBN. And before you can even get a CBN license in this country. You will sweat. So, <laughs> just doesn't it. All right, that's it. That's all it. Video. So, if you are yet to subscribe, on that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I see you in the next video.